Imperial Valley's AM 1230 KXO El Centro. I'm Taylor Bishotti with NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. No quarterback mysteries in Cleveland this week as Deshaun Watson has already been ruled out for Sunday's game against the Seahawks with a shoulder injury. Watson missed two games, then returned briefly Sunday in Indianapolis before aggravating the injury. P.J. Walker will start in Watson's place. Brock Purdy's status is suddenly up in the air. The Niners QB is now in the league's concussion protocol. Head coach Kyle Shanahan says Purdy started experiencing symptoms after Monday night's loss in Minnesota. Bears head coach Matt Eberflus says Justin Fields is doubtful to play for the second straight week due to a thumb injury. Bull Giants QB Daniel Jones was limited to practice Wednesday and has not yet been cleared for contact after missing two games with a neck injury. And NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport reports if Ryan Tannehill's ankle injury keeps him out Sunday, rookie QB Will Levis will make his NFL debut and start for the Titans. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. There's a whole lot of savings going on now at Staples. During Staples Sitathon, you can save up to $150 on select office and desk chairs. And when you buy a chair, you save 25% on desks, storage solutions, and office accessories. Plus, your local Staples now accepts Amazon returns. And when you return an Amazon order at Staples, you receive a coupon for $10 off your next $30 Staples purchase. Now is definitely the time to save at Staples. Share offer ends 1028, in-store only. Exclusions apply on Amazon offer. Wendy's new breakfast two for three dollar biggie bundles let you create your own delicious combo. Choose from a sausage biscuit, egg and cheese biscuit, small seasoned potatoes, and a medium hot coffee. But it's obvious which combo's the best. Sausage biscuit and small seasoned potatoes. Well, maybe it's the fresh cracked egg and cheese biscuit with a medium hot coffee. Or two savory sausage biscuits. Uh, whichever you pick, you can't go wrong. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new two for three dollar biggie bundles. Limited time only. U.S. price and participation may vary. Not valid in a combo. Single item at regular price. Last I checked, it's a Thursday, yeah, the uh, 26th day of October, 2023. There you go. You're, you're all caught up. You know right where, uh, right where you are on the uh, calendar. By the way, we do use the Gregorian calendar. Just thought uh, you ought to know. And uh, the temperatures we give are Fahrenheit, okay? Yeah, our, uh, when our Canadian friends get here, we'll probably switch to Celsius. And looking back in history, on this date in 1881, the gunfight at the OK Corral took place in Tombstone, Arizona. Uh, the fight between Wyatt Earp, his two brothers, and Doc Holliday, uh, they took on Ike Clanton, and his gang. And you know what, Gene? What was that? Well, at the uh, gunfight at the OK Corral on this date in 1881, Bob Hayes was there. Yeah, he's still there. Yes. <laughs> ah, anyway, you've been to Tombstone, haven't you? Yes. Okay. Interesting yeah. place. Hey, hung out with some of the ghosts from uh, past. There Most of the Clinton Tombstone. gang, right? Okay, what else is going on? Oh, Britney Spears' memoir is unfolding the story behind her 55-hour marriage. You may recall the pop singer married her childhood friend in Las Vegas in 2004 and then annulled the marriage 55 hours later. Now, Brittany says that she was very drunk and very bored at that time of her life. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but drunk and bored is the reason for ordering something at 2 a.m. on Amazon, not for making life decisions like getting married. <sighs> yeah, anyway. that, that one was a good one. I remember when it made the news. Yes. Okay, well, she's still making news. And making money with her new book. Okay. All the way, she laughs all the way to the bank. I suppose. How about some uh, birthdays today? Some local birthdays? No, some big shot. Let's birthdays. start off with the big shot birthdays. One of Charlie's Angels, actor Jacqueline Smith, is 78. Pat Sajak is 77. Actor James Pickens Jr., 71. 
Also celebrating, actor Lauren Tews is 70. She was in The Love Boat, and that's about it. Actor D.W. Moffat, 69. Actor, singer Rita Wilson, 67. Actor Patrick Breen is 63. Actor Dylan McDermott, 62. Actor Carrie Elvis is 61. Actor Steve Valentine, 57. Actor Tom Cavanaugh, 55. Actor Rosemary DeWitt, 52. Actor Anthony Rapp is 52. Writer, actor Seth MacFarlane, 50. Other birthdays today include actor John, uh, John Hader of uh, Napoleon Dynamite fame, 46. Actor Folaki Olakowiki is 40. And uh, actor Beulah Kowale is 32. Got local birthdays coming up. Coming up. The second annual off-road show presented by the Off-Road Pit will be at the Imperial Valley Mall on November 4th. KXO Radio and the Off-Road Pit are giving away tickets. When you hear the sound of the engine roar... Be the 10th caller. It's that easy. The second annual off-road show presented by the Off-Road Pit will be fun for the whole family. Doors open at 4 p.m. with lots of UTVs and off-road vehicles on display. Plus vendors, food, and drinks, including a beer garden. So keep listening to KXO when you hear the engine roar. Be the 10th caller and win. Let's celebrate today's birthdays. Happy birthday, Angie West, Veronica Vela, Robert Perez, Sandra Silva, Kane Garcia, David Gillis, Rosemary Kubek, Tamara Garcia, Felipe Rangel, Eddie Perez, Elijah Alvarado, Jay DeLuca, Julene Moore, Jamie Estrada, Mary Estrada, Patricia Santana, Patty Avalos, Richard Romero, Hilda Valencia, Teresa Robertson, Norma Dominguez, Jason Vasquez, Cynthia Ambriz, Joe Bergueno, Cynthia Nunez, Ivan Alexander Gale, Isaac Vasquez, Carlos Necochea, and Jerry McCarty. Happy birthday from KXO. And many happy returns. Well, what else is going on? All sorts of things. Uh, Mm, Thursday night football tonight also at the Imperial Valley Food Bank. It's the pallet, pallet, and pallet. And yes, tickets are still available and you can go. A lot of fun. You remember the event from uh, when the uh, ladies at the Episcopal Church in El Centro? I remember it uh, every single year. Yes. Well, it's been back the last several years at the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Yep, it was a great uh, one of those uh, events that it just demanded that it uh, be held again. Yes. Yep. So it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we've got news. We're going to start with a look at World in California news headlines right now. And it is brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. Lock, they are your year-round comfort specialists. CBS News Special Report. We're waiting for an update from police in Maine on mass shootings at a restaurant and at a bowling alley north of Portland last night. Sixteen people were killed, at least dozens injured. Cynthia Hunter lives in Lewiston. This is an overwhelming situation. I don't think we've ever had anything like this. There's a manhunt for 40-year-old Army Reserve Sergeant Robert Card, who spent time in a mental health facility. Lisbon Police Chief Ryan McGee is asking locals to reach out if you see something suspicious, something isn't right. If you look out in your yard and you're like, that door wasn't open or, you know, that trailer wasn't positioned that way, you see anything suspicious, Please call us. CBS's Elaine Quijano spoke with a neighbor. He said it's the kind of place where, you know, people don't lock their doors at night necessarily. Everyone kind of knows everyone here. And for this to happen in their community, it's been devastating. President Biden's ordered flags lowered in honor of the victims. CBS News Special Report. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Become a lock air conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a lock air conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-LOC. CKE. That's 760-93-LOCKE. Lock VIPs receive 
discounted service and maintenance. Discounted repairs and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. California headline news. More reports of alleged hate crime incidents as the fighting in the Middle East continues. L.A. police investigating reports of a man breaking into a home in Studio City where the Jewish homeowner says the suspect shouted at him and his family. Keep streaming to Palestine, to Palestine. The Jewish people, they need to kill Jewish people. Police say the man who broke in was dressed only in boxers and yelled hateful comments about Israel and Jews. Police arrived and arrested him and say he was on drugs. 20 years since the Cedar Fire in San Diego that killed 15 people deliberately set by a lost hunter trying to signal for help. Did 29 miles in 10 hours, and to go from almost Julian to Scripps Ranch in 10 hours was just kind of uncomprehensible at the time. Cal Fire Chief Tony Meacham saying things are different now with more coordination, communication, and air resources. Evander Gavin Newsom reacting on social media to Wednesday night's mass shooting in Lewiston, Maine, knowing the state doesn't ban assault weapons, require permits, or background checks on gun sales. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News Headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. Lock, your year-round comfort specialist. Your small business is always top of mind. Well, top of your mind. To get it to the top of other people's minds, you need to get your name out front, which is where Staples Print and Marketing Services can put it. A yard sign over there, brochures right here, a banner up there. In fact, your business's message could appear anywhere. And right now at Staples, get $100 off your print purchase of $250 or more. Make a splash with your small business print and marketing materials at Staples. End 11 4. Visit staples.com slash print for details. Wouldn't it be great if life came with remote control? You know, you could hit pause when you needed to, or hit rewind, like that time you knocked down that wasp's nest. Uh Uh-oh. Well, life doesn't always give you time to change the outcome, but pre-diabetes does. With early diagnosis and a few healthy changes, you can stop pre-diabetes before it leads to type 2 diabetes. To learn your risk, take the one-minute test today at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its pre-diabetes awareness partners. It is page one of the local news, page one of the service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. They have three locations in the valley at El Centro Motors, in the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 and Julia Drive, and at the Imperial Valley Mall. Taking a look at the latest in uh, local news for a Thursday morning, a suspect uh, from uh, earlier in March of this year who was involved in a stabbing, has been caught. George Gale filed this story. The stabbing occurred in March of this year. A man was stabbed in the driveway of a home on Olive and 10th in El Centro. The uh, suspect was the uh, resident of the home, 40-year-old John Durant Dublin. The uh, suspect fled, and it was believed he'd left the city of El Centro. This month, El Centro police got word that the suspect had returned and was staying with family members. Police and enlisted the assistance of U.S. Marshal's Office, and they surrounded the apartment on Adams Avenue. It was determined Dublin was in the uh, apartment. After about an hour of negotiation, suspect was convinced to leave the apartment. He was met by law enforcement in the parking lot and was taken into custody without incident. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. Ag Ag Commissioner uh, makes a presentation to the Board of Supervisors <clears throat> Joan Lee, uh, Jolene Desert presented to the board a collaboration between Canine Detection Services and the Imperial County Ag Commissioner. Her staff uh, started the yearly multi-pest uh, survey in Calexico on October 2nd by collaborating with a company that utilizes dogs to sniff out pests. The county uh, conducts the multi-pest survey at uh, residential properties uh, along a two-mile stretch of the international border. The purpose is to detect a wide range of insects and diseases affecting uh, citrus trees. Primary target is the Asian uh, citrus facilid, a disease that ACP uh, transmits. It is called... uh, 
Huan Long Bing, ACP, is an established pest in Imperial County. However, the disease has not been found locally. All uh, insects have a unique order which uh, canines can detect. KXO News Time uh, coming up 743. How about the next time you need service on your car? We come to you. Hi, this is Mike Allison for Hill Central Motors and Quick Lane. Our mobile service vans are an extension of our dealership service lane. We will come to you for an oil change, filters, brakes, batteries, tire rotation, and so much more. Hey, while your car is just sitting there at work, we'll take care of your service needs. And it doesn't cost any extra. Schedule your appointment now at LCentralMotors.net. El Central Motors mobile service vans. What a great idea. In other local news, the DL... De La Raza was uh, celebrated this month by the Hidalgo Society in Brawley. The event celebrated the Hispanic culture and community. Also during the event, outstanding individuals were honored. Two were recognized as Hispanics of the Year. Receiving the award was Audrey Camacho, an insurance agent and broker. Also awarded as, a, as a Hispanic of the Year was Gilbert Rebelar, a Brawley City Council member and public relations officer for the County of Imperial. For Rebelar, the award is kind of a family tradition. Both of his parents are past recipients of Hispanic of the Year. Also, during the event, uh, the community members of the year were awarded. Uh, they went to chairman of the County Board of Supervisors and supervisor for District 4, Ryan Kelly, and uh, community advocate uh, Christy Perez. This was the first year the community members of the year award were presented. That concludes this edition of Local News, page two coming up. Page one of the local news, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers, three locations in the valley to serve you, and a mobile van, actually two of them. They will service your vehicle wherever you are in the valley. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Let's talk about it. Bringing community mental health issues to your radio. Listen each Sunday morning to KXO AM 1230 at 7 a.m. or on Sunday evening at 7 p.m. on FM 107.5. Or log on to KXORadio.com for a podcast of the show in its entirety. This program is produced by the Public Affairs Department of KXO AM 1230 and FM 107.5. Let's Talk About It is presented as a public service in Imperial County Behavioral Health Services. Page two of the news and weather, all brought to you by the Imperial Valley Food Bank, fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. Continuing with uh, page two of uh, the local news, uh, Saturday is Take Back Day. It's the National uh, Take Back uh, Day installment. George Gale explains. It is the 25th annual National Take Back Day. It will be held a Saturday, this Saturday, locally. It'll be held at the uh, Starbucks on South 4th Street in El Centro. Special day is the creation of the Drug Enforcement Administration. It's an opportunity for residents to clean out their medicine cabinets and safely dispose of old or no longer used medical prescription medicines. Take Back Day will run from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m p.m. Residents are encouraged to remove unneeded medications from their homes to prevent misuse and opioid addiction from ever starting. Collection sites will be accepting tablets, capsules, patches, and other solid forms of prescription drugs. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. The Hopeville uh, Carrot Festival uh, is uh, going to be coming up sooner than you think. I it will be held uh, not until early of 2024. The whole build chamber is taking applications, though, for the 76th annual Carrot Queen. The contest is open to every young lady in Imperial Valley. The deadline to apply is December the 22nd. For any and all information, go to the website hopevillechamber.org. Applications are available at the chamber office well brawley has a celebration uh, coming up here's more on the story 
It will be tomorrow, Friday at 10 a.m. Celebration will be held at Legion Road, east of Highway 86 in Brawley. They will be celebrating the completion of Legion Western and Wildcat Street improvements. All of those streets will be reopened. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. A ceremony is uh, planned uh, for the city of Calexico. It's the grand opening of the Calexico City Station, or their fire station. It'll be held on October 30th at 5.30 p.m. The public is encouraged to attend the event at 435th Street in Calexico. The public uh, is invited to view the new upgraded facility meet the local firefighters, and enjoy light refreshments. We'll be back with a look at the weather. My name is Josephine Conway, and I'm an Imperial Valley Food Bank board member. Food has the power to fuel communities, especially among those struggling to find their next meal. As the main distribution center of donated food in Imperial County, we store, rescue, and purchase food in bulk to serve 25,000 people each month at over 30 locations. Join the fight against hunger and food insecurity in the Imperial Valley by donating online today at www.ibfoodbank.org. Here's Carol Buckley with a weather update. The National Weather Service says seasonable temperatures and dry conditions will prevail over the next several days across the region. A dry weather system is expected to move through the region on Sunday. That will cause temperatures to dip a bit further, while also leading to breezy to locally windy conditions in the Imperial and Yuma Valleys. 86 the high in the valley yesterday, 59 the overnight low. Today will be sunny with a high near 84. West-northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour becoming south-southeast. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 60. Northwest wind about 5 miles an hour becoming east-southeast. Sunny on Friday with a high near 86. South-southeast wind about 5 miles an hour becoming west-northwest. On Saturday, sunny with a high near 85. Northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Sunday, sunny with a high near 75. North wind 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts as high as 30 miles an hour. 63 degrees and 10, 59 percent relative humidity. Wind out of the west at 3 miles an hour. Page two of the local news and weather presented by the Imperial Valley Food Bank, fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. It's time for the Fall Hall at Northern Tool and Equipment. Get your hands on tough tools at prices that are tough to ignore. Got plans? Cancel them. Drug in the shop? Borrow someone else's. Don't like saving money? Right. So head to the Fall Hall at Northern Tool. Stock up at the season's biggest event and get huge savings on brands like Milwaukee, Honda, and Ingersoll Rand. Shop at northerntool.com. We're made for this. Hey, did you know Vistaprint prints everything a small business needs? Like if a barbershop needs signage, we print outdoor signs, posters, and banners. Or if a ballet school needs merch. What? We print tote bags, t-shirts, hoodies, hats. Or if a coffee shop needs a total refresh. And a latte for Mike? Vistaprint designs logos and prints it on menus, mugs, paper bags, anything. Because with Vistaprint, the printabilities are endless. Print it all with 25% off for new customers with code NEW25 at vistaprint.com. It's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. NBA action underway, and it was the Hornets uh, hammering the Hawks, 116-110. Pacers beat up on the Wizards, 143-120. Celtics topped the Knicks, 108-104. Magic rolled over the Rockets, 116-86. Cavaliers nipped the Nets, 114-113. Heat edged the Pistons, 103-102. Raptors uh, topped the Timberwolves, 97-94. Thunder over the Bulls, 124-104. Pelicans uh, 
They went past the, the Grizzlies, 111-104. Kings clobbered the Jazz, 130-114. Mavericks uh, beat the Spurs, 126-119. And the Clippers won. They beat the Trailblazers, 123-119. 11. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all of your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in healthcare and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Raleigh, and of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all Pioneer services, visit www.pmhd.com work today and uh, baseball it's in the news uh, the diamondbacks the rangers world series game one tomorrow meanwhile astros manager dusty baker says he is going to retire and uh, well hey enjoy life dusty why not dusty is 74 in uh, other news What's going on around the world? Well, Annika Sorenstam, the greatest LPGA player of the modern era, became a member at Augusta National Golf Club this month when the famed course's new season began. Augusta National did not comment on the report as it traditionally has kept its membership list under wraps. No, I'm not a member. And high school football tonight, Hopeville at Calipat, the Axe game. Tomorrow night, it's the Calexico City Championship, Vincent Memorial at Calexico. And uh, it'll be Southwest at Imperial, that game with Mickey Dale, George Grijalva on our website, kxoradio.com. And also tomorrow night, the Bell game. Yeah, Brawley will visit Cal Jones Field. The game live on AM 1230 and on the KXO YouTube channel. So let your family and friends around the world know they can tune in on the KXO YouTube channel. Oh, Thursday night football. Yeah, it's the Buccaneers and the Bills tonight. Starting at 4.30 on AM 1230 KXO. That's it for Sports Time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to PMHD.org for more information about Pioneers. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we engineered the truck of the future for everyone. Ford F-150. Available with a pro power onboard generator and a variety of cab configurations for whatever you need to haul. Because the truck of the future isn't created for just a few. It's for America. Ford F-150. Drive one today. Come in now for a huge selection of vehicles like the 2023 Ford F-150 with 0.9% APR limited term financing. Only at your San Diego County Ford dealers. Not all buyers will qualify for Ford Credit Financing. 0.9% APR financing for 36 months at $28.16 per month per thousand finance, regardless of down payment. Payments may vary. Dealers determine price. Residency restrictions apply. For all offers, take new retail delivery from an authorized Ford dealer stock by 1031 2023. See dealer for qualifications and complete details. All offers valid at Imperial County Ford dealers. And it's uh, time to take a look at some financial news. A brief look at the weather, all brought to you by Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you and your property. They also offer live scan fingerprinting to the public. Well, Mattel, the toy manufacturer, reported a 9% rise in its net sales to $1.92 billion in the third quarter, fueled by Barbie's success and Hot Wheels toys. Even while the company profits faced pressure on other fronts, worldwide gross billings or the amount invoiced to customers for dolls rose 27%, bringing in $885 million to Mattel in the third quarter. Meanwhile, vehicles, Hot Wheels, rose 18% in the same quarter. However, the company remained tepid about its outlook as the global toy industry faced headwinds. And United Auto Workers Union and Ford have reached a tentative labor agreement. A bruising 41-day strike at Ford is near an end as the United Auto Workers and its largest employer have reached a tentative deal to return 16,600 strikers to the job within days. 
and pay workers at least 25% more between now and 2028. But the strike will continue at America's two other unionized automakers, General Motors, the nation's largest car company, and Stellantis, which builds vehicles in North America under the Jeep, Ram, Dodge, and Chrysler names. So what's happening on the big board? Mixed right now, the Dow up 23 points at 33058. The uh, S&P 500 down 10 at 4176. And the NASDAQ down 74 points at 12747. Gold off $6.30 an ounce. And oil down a buck 18 a barrel. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. Two years ago, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year. So if you're tired of dealing with the inconvenience of our post office hours, and you would like to be able to get your mail when you want, Saturdays, Sundays, holidays, in the middle of the night, then come visit us at Southwest Postal with 24-hour staff. Plus, we're also your local FedEx, DHL, and Postal Service Center. We even offer text message and email notification when you receive your mail. Southwest Postal at the corner of Fort and Ohio in El Centro. It will be sunny today with a high near 84. West-northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour becoming south-southeast. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 60. Northwest wind about 5 miles an hour becoming east-southeast. Friday, sunny with a high near 86. South-southeast wind about 5 miles an hour becoming west-northwest later in the morning. And right now, downtown, 64 degrees with that 54% relative humidity. Wind out of the west-southwest at about 3 miles an hour. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security, offering 24-hour-a-day post office boxes at Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Heil in El Centro. Tune in for NFL Primetime Football on KXO AM 1230. Catch the action of the Thursday night, Sunday night, and, of course, Monday night game on AM 1230. No fees, no buffering. Just the very best NFL football. The NFL on AM 1230 is brought to you by Southwest Security Services and El Centro RV Service Center. The Bucks and the Bills, 4.30 this afternoon on AM 1230 KXO. The best oldies on the radio. KXO, El Centro, the Imperial Valley. This is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Steve Kathan. New information on the mass shootings in Lewiston, Maine. At least 18 dead, 13 injured. There's an intense manhunt for a person of interest. People were gunned down at two locations, a bar and a bowling alley. I hold these families and this city in my heart today. Governor Janet Mills speaking moments ago. The full weight of my administration is behind law enforcement's efforts to capture the person of interest, Robert Carr, to hold whoever is responsible for this atrocity accountable under the full force of state and federal law, and to seek full justice for the victims and their families. CBS News correspondent Elaine Quijano. Residents here in Lewiston and the entire county have been ordered to shelter in place, and as a precaution, multiple schools and businesses are also closed today. Residents have been asked to clear the streets as hundreds of police officers work around the clock to track down that person of interest. The Army says the suspect, Robert Card, is a patrolling supply specialist in the Army Reserve with more than two decades in the service. He had no overseas deployments. He had been committed to a mental health facility for two weeks over the summer. Overseas, correspondent Deborah Pata reports Israeli troops and tanks have been on the move in what's called a limited operation. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says preparations for a ground invasion into Gaza are underway, although he cannot say exactly when it will happen. But overnight... There was an Israeli military raid into the Palestinian enclave. Hamas claimed today without offering evidence that 50 Israeli hostages have been killed since airstrikes in Gaza began. 
The UAW has struck a tentative contract agreement with Ford. The union remains on strike against GM and Stellantis. On the picket line, it's encouraging news. Hopefully GM and Stellantis can get their deals done, and then that's it. I don't know really what else to say, just historic day for us, that's for sure. Strong showing for the U.S. economy over the summer. The government pegs growth at a 4.9% annual rate, fastest pace in nearly two years. Business analyst Jill Schlesinger. The Federal Reserve meets next week, and it could potentially use this report as a means to perhaps raise interest rates again, though it now seems more likely that the central banks will hold off on any action at the upcoming meeting. Federal prosecutors this morning rested their case against FDX founder Sam Bankman Freed. Checking Wall Street right now, the Dow is up 25 points. The S&P is down 12. This is CBS News. You need to hire? Indeed is with you every step of the way. Helping you attract, interview, and hire candidates all from one place. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Dive into true crime on Pluto TV. Unravel the mysteries on Forensic Files and Dateline 24-7. Plus, watch thousands of other crime movies and TV shows all for free. Download Pluto TV on all your favorite devices and start streaming now. Exergen thermometers are a top choice of medical professionals at highly ranked hospitals across the U.S. Accuracy matters, so make Exergen the chosen thermometer for your home and family. Available at Walgreens and other participating retailers. Learn more at exergen.com. When my daughter gets a cold, <coughs> I have a secret weapon. Dayquil Kids Berry from Vicks. Dayquil Kids is specially formulated to treat kids' most bothersome cold and cough symptoms quickly. And the best part is that Dayquil Kids Berry tastes really great. Aren't you supposed to be resting? Maybe. Dayquil Kids Berry. The kids' berrylicious daytime congestion, coughing, stuffy head, stuffy nose, just for kids. Medicine. Safe for kids six years plus. Labor unrest boils over in Las Vegas. Nearly 60 people fighting for new union contracts for hotel workers were arrested after they blocked rush hour traffic on the Las Vegas Strip. We don't want contracts! We do it want it! Now! No contract, no peace! We are work overload in our job. You know, they put us to do extra. But yet... They don't want to share the part, the financial part that we need. Sylvia Salazar is a guest room attendant at the MGM Grand Hotel. Jim Crisula, CBS News. Democratic Congressman Jamal Bowman has pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor count for triggering a fire alarm as lawmakers scrambled to pass a funding bill before a government shutdown deadline last month. Under a deal with prosecutors, Bowman will pay a $1,000 fine. He'll also serve three months of probation. Then that charge will be dismissed. I'm Steve Kathan, CBS News. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio with Carol Buckley. Classic case of neurotic narcissism and a first-class smarty pants. AM 1230 KXO. 